Morning from inside the training facility at the Johnson Space Center. I'm Jacob Rascone. We're excited to talk about the Artemis missions. Good morning, Devon and Alona. Good morning, Jacob. Yes, with Jacob at JSC, we are happy to have you with us this morning, Devon, to get everybody's day started off right. Happy to be here. It's an exciting morning here in Space City. Jacob, tell us a little bit about what's planned for this morning there at the Johnson Space Center. So we've got a few things going on right here today. We have these beautiful astronauts behind me. We're really going to do a final game day preview of their mission, which is the first time in more than 50 years that we're slingshotting around the moon. And that is in preparation for landing on the moon and establishing a presence to eventually go beyond. But also this morning, we actually have a special launch. This is happening over at the Kennedy Space Center Falcon, a Falcon 9 rocket that's going to launch what uh, Cheetah, remember yesterday, was talking about space weather. And she talked a little with NASA about that. And uh, this is monitoring, for example, the sun and the you know, solar storms and the way that we're impacted. It's a big thing that they've been talking about that we've been talking about. Uh, and that launch is actually scheduled for several minutes from now. So we'll see. And if it's, you know, if, if it happens, then, uh, then we'll bring it to you and you'll be able to watch it. But I know Cheetah's really excited about that. And, uh, uh, oh, oh, actually, I'm told that we've got 20 seconds until launch. So this is, once again, this is a uh, spacecraft, oh, 10, 9, 8. And tell me if we're able to see this. Are we able to see any of this? I think that we're able to watch this live. Okay. All right, we have ignition and we have launch. Look at the timing of that. That's beautiful. Lift off of the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket was targeted for now, and here it is. This is launching from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Uh, it's the IMAP spacecraft that will study how the sun's energy and particles interact with the helisphere around our, that's enhancing our understanding of space weather. It's something that we'll be able to monitor on a regular basis. And Cheetah Craft and our other meteorologists like Pat are more versed in this, of course, than I am. But the solar storms have an impact. It's very important to monitor those things. And it's just another development in what is this new push and new excitement uh, all around not just Artemis, but NASA and everything that we're doing in space. Elona and Devon will be back here live in a few minutes. Yeah, crucial components in the future of space exploration launching right as we speak. Perfect timing, Jacob. Mm -hmm. uh, really <laughs> a big space news day today. So we're going to be checking back with you in just a few minutes, as you said. Yeah, and as Jacob mentioned, NASA has just launched from the Kennedy Space Center there in Florida. This is the launch of three new missions to track space weather.